Hi, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. You haven't subscribed, but you should, you know, because we do this a lot. We do this a lot, quite a bit. Today we are animating text inside of Resolve. I'll show you a couple of my favorite ways to add some motion to the words. Word motion. Here we are in Resolve 17 inside of the edit page and let's add some text so we can actually animate it. So up here in the effects library, if I make sure this is bright white, that'll open up the panel down here. And under titles, Towards the top, we have our basic titles. This is just what we're gonna be using today. Depending on the type of animation that you're looking for, you might wanna pick text or text plus. We're gonna use text plus today just because we have a few more controls over some of the fanciness. So let's just take that and drag it over our first layer here in the edit page. Size it to be over our background. Now we're off to the races. Look, custom title, yes. Let's open up the inspector here by clicking this, make sure that's bright white. And now we have our controls here and we can adjust all of the text things. Make sure we're on the title tab here and let's change our text. The road ahead, the journey. Pick a different font. Montserrat sounds good. Yeah, that looks nice. Let me show you a couple of my favorite ways to animate this. The first way that I think is probably the most classy is just a nice zoom out, which you can do a bunch of different ways. The easiest way to do that is just to go up to settings. This actually has nothing to do with our title. You can do this with anything in the edit page of Resolve and scroll down to where it says dynamic zoom and just take that on. So what that's gonna do is as we play this back, it's just going to zoom it out. Yeah, and we actually already have this on our road. So I'll just take that off so we can kind of see that motion a little better. It just zooms that out nicely. So that always looks classy. Again, I'm much more of a fan of simpler animation just because it looks classy. You can use it on any project. It isn't distracting, you know, adds interest without being crazy. So that's the most basic way probably to animate text. Let's say we want to turn the classiness up to about 11 or so, right? If we select our title here in the timeline, and go back to our title controls here in the inspector. So at the beginning of our title, we want it to look like this, but we can actually change things over time using our keyframe controls. Basically, if we have something looking the way that it should at the time that we're at, we can click on this little diamond right here. And once it turns red, then it's gonna tell Resolve that, hey, at zero frames, I want tracking at 1.106. Then we can move down our title to the last frame. And I'm actually gonna hit left on the keyboard to move the very last frame of our title. We can change this tracking to just be a little bit different. And when I grab this number and roll it, it turns this red again. That means that we have a keyframe. So we have a keyframe at the end and a keyframe at our beginning. And now as we move forward, not only does it zoom out, but it also animates that tracking. Looks nice and classy. If we really wanna see this a little bit clearer, we can turn off the dynamic zoom. And it just depends on what you like, you know? But I think that's classy. Let's reset our tracking. I'll just double click on tracking and now we have just our normal text. Another effect that I really like is the write on effect, which just kind of looks like you're typing the letters onto screen. Over here in the inspector, in this is just in the text plus, the normal text effect won't have this, but if you scroll all the way down on the first tab, there's a little property called write on. Using write on, if we move either of these dots, it types on the words. So again, just like we did with our tracking, we can just animate either of these dots. So I'll go to the beginning of our title here, set a keyframe and move the end all the way to the left. And I don't know, maybe I want this to all write on in about two seconds or so. Then I'll move it all the way to the right. Then as we play this back, it types it all on in about two seconds. Super cool. So that's cool. I'm gonna reset this again and I'll show you one other cool effect. If we go to the top of text plus and go over to transform under rotation, if we grab this Y rotation, we can actually rotate each letter by itself and they kind of rotate in perspective. So it's a really nice little way to kind of reveal your letters. So again, we can go to the beginning, set a keyframe and we'll rotate these so they're like just about on their sides and then we'll move to, I don't know, a couple seconds or so and then set this back to zero. And now we have this cool little rotating in effect. Nice, right? And of course, all of this is just in addition to being able to move and rotate the text just like you would anything else, right? So I can go to layout and keyframe this center and I can even have this text animated in like this. And there we have our cool animation. 
This, of course, is all in the edit page, and if you want to get even more crazy, you can animate stuff in the Fusion page, but that's for another video. That's some basic text animation. Hey, I'd just like to thank you for trucking along with me here today. We have uh, Resolve 17 tutorials right there. All you have to do is click on them. Click on them. And then you can learn more, even. We could hang out some more. We could have some mores while we hang out, probably, digitally. You bring all of the stuff, because I don't have any. <laughs>